From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big day of LA Late, an afternoon of LA with incredible great news about your Four Stimulus Check update of 2022. In today's major recording, we go over those Four Stimulus Checks which have landed in every U.S. state, including yours, because it's in every U.S. state. And we'll go over all the incredible details about how you get those checks and how millions of viewers on this channel have gotten their applications in and how ready to pass L8303. We're going to get ready then for L8404 in today's recording. We'll go over those four stimulus checks which have landed in every U.S. state and show you how to get it. If you're just new to this channel, welcome. I'll get you caught up very quickly in this recording because the four stimulus check is in every U.S. state. And we'll go over all those incredible checks across the land. But first, you want to become a member. The link is at the top of the chat, the pinned comment. But then we'll go to... Yes, the Build Back Better Act, major developing details overnight about that. All the latest updates about what's going on with the present economic agenda in view of the latest numbers from CNN, his approval ratings. Oh boy. <laughs> then we'll be looking at that inflationary and recessionary concerns from Jay Powell. What a week it was, and what does it mean for next week? Oh, get ready. We got a lot of excitement. We go over to six stimulus as we had that announced deal with that Western allies, but did it happen? What happened? Then we'll turn over to that seven stimulus. The student loan debt forgiveness, which less than two weeks ago, we were told that the president may have it ready and ready to rock and roll. All the latest details on that front as well. And then we're gonna cut back, stay to the final minutes of this video, because I have a lot of checks for you at the end of this video. Plus, we have a big surprise just for today only at the end of afternoon's LA. Your beloved bovine returns as Sirloin returns to bid adieu. The departure is upon us. Not mine. <laughs> the color wheel is going to a range of other options as Jen Saki is retiring and Sirloin is taking over a position. Well, no, he's just going to comment on her departure and what it means for the future of Muddle Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Sirloin returns in the final minutes of this video. It's Afternoon's LA like you've never seen. Plus, a special tribute to all the mothers, including the scarf lovers. At the end of this video, it's Afternoon's Special Edition, starting right now. And good afternoon, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is afternoon late here from Santa Monica, California for May 6, 2022. Hope you had a wonderful Cinco de Mayo. And of course, this weekend is Mother's Day. So hopefully um, you did not make a mother <laughs> on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> or at least if you, it was prepared. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's another video. Uh, you know, abortion rights heated up this week. And certainly Cinco de Mayo is right before Mother's Day. So let's just, you know, there's that tequila equation, part of the equation. Let's go to the incredible great news. As a four symbols check is now landed in every U.S. state, that four symbols check is in your state. And that is a bid of the developing details across the board that's happening elsewhere. Build Back Better Act is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about four stimulus checks have landed in every U.S. state by direct deposit. Then I'm going to show you how to get those incredible checks in the second half of this recording. But first, if you have not become a member, become a member right today. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. The incredible newsletter comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Later in this video, stay at the very end, we're going to go over all these incredible checks that are available across the land. But first, we're going to start with the incredible news about the Build Back Better Act. That is the president's economic agenda, and the president's team says he's back on agenda to get this done very quickly. Why? The midterm elections is right around the corner, and that midterm elections has a vote by November. But you got to remember the mail-in balloting, and that mail-in balloting brings you back to about three months earlier. That means if they want to influence your voting, they need to get a check in your hand from Build Back Better Act by about August. And to get it in your hand by August, they got to get a solidified negotiation done this month. 
That is why the negotiations are currently underway between Joe Manchin and Joe Biden and Kristen Sinema once again. Andrew Bates, the president's chief uh, communications individual, said this week. Bill and Bank Benarak is gaining the support of bad economic data across the board. And that bad economic data helps two things. One, it helps Bill Back Better Act. Second, it happens, helps your SS300. Remember, these are additional checks to the four summons checks that have landed in every state already, that have landed in every U.S. state already. The Bill Back Better Act would give you about three classes and three add-ons of additional checks that brings you about to fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. That Build Back Better Act is passed in the House, currently sitting in the Senate. Now, here is where it gets interesting. A week in which there was bad economic data, was there any good economic data? This morning we woke up with really good economic data. It showed really great low, low unemployment numbers. Low unemployment numbers, especially among African Americans. Great job creation numbers. And the job participation number, good. But it also showed that we're still below the numbers of pre-pandemic level when you look at some of the uh, some sub numbers. Now, that, as you know, if you've been watching this channel for the last three months, is the only number that's going to be good that's coming out of this economy. Unemployment and employment numbers sometimes are the only good a number. Today, we had a reverse of a number, which is very fascinating. I already told you that the U.S. economy is heading into recession for two years starting next year. But that two industries are currently in recession, and they are auto and housing. Now, auto is getting very interesting data today. It showed that used car sales are falling dramatically. Now, that's not surprising because I told you that's what's happening over the last few months with new car sales, now used car sales falling. Here is where it gets interesting. When used car sales fall, that means inflation pulls back a little bit, inflation comes back down. Interesting. But let me tell you what's going on with Build Back Better Act. We have inflation. We have recession. We have stagflation. We have bad economic. We have shrinking GDP, the growth of the U.S. economy. We do not have the type of job creation numbers that we really want. And then we have all the other numbers, like consumer spending and consumer confidence, all really down. This is good news for Build Back Better Act, because remember how these stimulus packages work. When the data is weak, then people want to give you money. When the data is strong, then they don't. No one in their right mind thinks this economy is strong anymore. You know, it's sort of different now. It's sort of different now in May than maybe it was in March. I mean, March, I was telling you, we're going to be bad. In April, I said, we're about to be bad. Now we are starting to really have weakness this month. And the data kept on coming today. Armor, Under Armour reporting its earnings and its earnings guidance, and the stock was down 50%. Lulamon down 5%. Uh, just stocks are getting hammered because the projections are that supply chain disruption in China because the subvariant of Omicron, causing factory shutdowns of factory or shipping concerns, in the case of Under Armour, is causing major problems. And those major problems mean less profitability for America, less profitability for the employer that employs you, and less money for you potentially as an employee or as a retiree. Now let's go over the data. Bad economic data, bad corporate earnings, bad projections. Third quarter, the third quarter of this year is expected to be absolutely horrific if you're looking at data coming in from companies like Apple that says they do not have the component parts for their cell phones, the iPhones, made out of China. So the projections for third quarter are going to be even worse, are already projected out worse than they are right now. We also have that massive plummeting by Amazon. For some companies, are suffering the big pressures right today. This means good news for Build Back Better Act. Because the way it works is that when the data is weak, then people want to give you money. Now, what also happened this week? Well, you certainly heard it yesterday. On Cinco de Mayo, Wall Street literally got drunk. Uh, no, it just looked like it fell on the floor from too much tequila. Stocks fell like you never saw fall. And it could have, the stocks could have shouted, help, I've fallen, I can't get up, and no one could get them back up. They fell 1,300 points on Cinco de Mayo, I think it was. And this was after days and days and days of stocks being down. What's going on is that we're heading a recession. More people believe that Jay Powell's not going to get it right. Historically, the Federal Reserve has not gotten raising interest rates to get down inflation correct over the many decades. Let's go on, go over what's happening. We currently have runaway inflation, and that runaway inflation is per percolating, perhaps even hotter this month than the last month. 
8% inflation is not sustainable, and we've been doing it since December. Jay Powell had it so wrong as Federal Reserve Chair oh, last year. He said that inflation was going to be 1 to 2 bumps and 2 to 3%. I said, no, 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 Jay, it's going to be 8% in December, and it's going to be sustained. I was right, and then he had to double back and catch up. What happened? 8% inflation in December, January, February, March, actually higher. Now, this becomes interesting for you. It's really good news for SS300. It is actually good news for Build Back Better Act. I'll go over the details with you right now. First, it's great news for SS300, which is based upon the concept of swapping into inflation. Boy, you really want that inflation because it is still hot. It is really hot, and inflation is so hot that the man who promised to swap your benefits to inflation hasn't done it. Why not? <laughs> Everyone in a new poll today says they're unhappy about inflation. A new CNN poll released today says that the president's approval rating is now less than 30% among all registered voters. And that more than 60% of those polled said they blame the economy on Joe Biden. Now, if he gave you inflation or if on his watch inflation happened, he needs to swap that color for inflation to lock in your benefits at $200 more per month. Because remember how this works. Your benefits are tied to COLA. COLA that doesn't work. And COLA was 5% in December. Your benefits went up a little bit because of COLA 5%, 5% COLA. But had they made that swap to inflation, your benefits would get on up $200 a month. Not just that month, not just this year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Joe made the swap. Pick up the phone and call that Social Security Administrator head and swap that COLA for inflation, and that would lock in $200 more per month. What about later this year? Well, that would also lock in about another $100 more per month because I'm projecting that inflation is going to come in at 4% later this year. Guess what's happening today? More Wall Street analysts are now co-subscribing what I said about the end of the year. They're thinking inflation is going to be very hot by the end of the year. Jay Powell, I think, made... Uh, yeah, a mockery of himself. When, I believe it was in February or March, he said he's going to get inflation down to 1.9%. I laughed at the time. Well, now people are really laughing at him. That is not a projectable, attainable result. Good for you. <laughs> if your inflation comes in at 4% later this year, then you get another $100 or more per month. That's SS300. Joe, make the call. Joe Biden has done this before. He made the fall call in October 2020 for... 2021, to Agriculture, Department of Agriculture, telling them to pay you more money for SNAP. He's picked up the phone and called the Department of Education saying, you know, let's forgive some student loan debt. All he has to do on this one is pick up the phone and call Department of Social Security and say, swap that color for inflation, and that'll raise your benefits up $300 more per month if we track at those numbers. Now, what is Jay Powell doing? What Jay Powell did this week is he gave you a half basis point increase for the May month FOMC meeting. No surprise. What did he also say? He said, I'm not doing three quarters of a basis point anytime soon. No surprise there. That's sort of a ridiculous question. Steve Leifson thought he had such a great question. No, the great question would have been, are you ever going to do a quarter basis point in the next five meetings? That would have been the question to ask Steve. Because you want to see if he's going to come back weaker, not if he's going to come in stronger. No one in their right mind thought he was going to do three quarters of a basis point. If they did, they're off base. And where we are today is that many analysts think that there's going to be about three, four, two more half basis point increases. I believe at least two. After that, I can't really project out. And that is good news for you because if Joe makes that swap and call it inflation today, you're good. I don't think that inflation is going to drop that fast. Now let's go back to aha, Build Back Better Act. Build Back Better Act is getting really a lot of support now because the economic data is bad. Joe Biden's approval ratings are weak. The approval ratings are down because when polled, the viewer, the the viewer, the the, the 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 people receiving the poll say that it's because of the economy, and they blame it on the element of unable to afford things. That's inflation. Well, hey, what says more than Build Back Better Act than that? Let's go over something that is important for you to know first. Spending money on a Build Back Better Act plan does that create inflation? It does not. When the federal government spends money, it does not create inflation. In fact, it actually reduces inflation. Reducing inflation is achieved by increasing demand for products, and then the products 
uh, come down because they don't have um, to worry about the price point. Some people think that when the federal government spends money, it creates inflation. It doesn't. Now, here is where it gets interesting. Over the last few days, I've told you that I think that Bill Baderak will get passed by bipartisan support. By bipartisan support. Why? Because the midterm election is going to be determined by people getting you something, not by saying they're going to give you something. That is what most of the electorate is saying. So I don't think that Republicans can sit back and do nothing and just point. I don't think that's going to win them seats. I don't think the Democrats can sit back and just try to pass Bill Bat Better Act. Let me tell you what's, what happened. If the Democrats just do Bill Bat Better Act with no Republicans and it fails, they're gone, the Democrats, because they're the party in control. They didn't get it done. If Republicans watch the Bill Bat Act pass without their support, then guess what it's going to look like? The Democrats got you something to deal with inflation. They're dealing with the situation. The Republicans haven't done anything. All they said is Joe Biden gave you inflation. Who are you going to vote for? You're going to go vote for the person who put money in your wallet to deal with the situation. Now, here is where it gets interesting. I think that some Republicans now, based upon these approval ratings, may say no. We may not have to do anything. We may be able to go right into those midterm elections, not give Americans a single penny, and just say, you're really hurting. And hope that the Democrats don't give you any money, because then you'll be hurting more. And then they'll say, hey, you're hurting, you're hurting, you're hurting. Elect us in there. And will they give you something then? Mm, interesting. So very, very, uh, we got to watch these poll numbers. When the poll numbers are tighter, I think that bipartisan passage of Build Back Better Act is more likely. When the numbers of these polls start to widen so badly like they are today, with this 70% disapproval rating by CNN, in a CNN poll, I mean, it's not a Fox News poll, it's a CNN poll, I think that that may signal that maybe Republicans will just let the Build Back Better Act sort of sink or swim by itself. Now, the good news, the good news, and you know what it is is that we're a community. We're a community where I'm here to help you, you're here to help one another, and there is a forcefulness check in every U.S. state. In this recording, we're going to go over that forcefulness check that is in every U.S. state, and it's a big check. It's landed by direct deposit. It's huge. And over this last week, we have gone over LA 101. Where are the checks? LA 202, what are the checks? LA 303, applying for one check. And today, we're going to apply for our second check. I'm going to recap what has happened over this last week. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you just became a member, welcome. I'll some new members every few hours. Get that membership newsletter out, because in the second half of this video, we're going to go over those checks. Then we'll be looking at student loan debt forgiveness for just a little bit. We'll have a preview of evenings I light. Stay to the very end. We got more checks at the very end. And yes, we also have a special guest today for a special edition of Afternoons I light. Sir Lloyd returns us to us. Why? Because one of his greatest uh, protagonists is going away. Range of other options she has. <laughs> Sir Lloyd returns in the second half of this afternoon's LA to bid adieu to the exiting Jen Psaki. Oh, you cannot miss this one. <laughs> I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. But first, if you've not become a member, go to the top of the chat and pin comment. Get that membership signed up. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. If you are a member, get that newsletter out in front of you because in the second half of this video, we're going to go over those big checks. A forcible check is in every U.S. state and get ready to get that check in the second half of this video. Here's a little bit about the member community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with those big checks and with the big bovine himself... <laughs> <laughs> it's a special edition of Afternoons L8 and a special Mother's Day salute to all our mothers of a scarf lover as well. The afternoon's excitement starts in just a second as we return. But first, here's a little bit about the member community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. 
Join LLA Daily for the excitement of the new LLA Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LLA at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late. And the excitement continues right now from May 6, 2022 in the second half of Afternoons LA special edition as your special bovine returns. But first, we're going to go over those four most checks that are in every U.S. state. Get your pen and paper ready. And if you're a member of this channel, get that membership newsletter out in front of you. Have you become a member? Go to the top of the chat and become a member right now. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Get that membership signed up. Get that newsletter and ready to rock and roll. Here we go. LA 101 taught on this channel on Monday, the first class in a series, LA 101, taught viewers of this channel that a fourth stimulus check is in every U.S. state. We're going to recap the first three classes of this channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and you've just joined and became a member, welcome. I'm going to recap right now everything you need to know. And if you are currently a member, we're going to go over it once again so you know it even better. In LA 101, I tell viewers this channel that a force stimulus check is in every U.S. state. If you just found this channel, just repeat it back to me. If you're on the live chat, write in the live chat. If you're at home, say it out loud, and you're ready to rock and roll. A fourth stimulus check is in every U.S. state. A fourth stimulus check is in every U.S. state. And with that, you have now passed LA 101, the introduction to the subject. Now, let's go to LA 202. In LA 202, we go over what is the four stimulus check in each state what four stimulus check is available in every u.s state if you're a long if you're a member this week let's see if you can remember i bet you can by heart which four stimulus checks are in every u.s state jump in the live chat right now and write the fourth stimulus checks the letters that are in every u.s state i'll give you a hint it's three letters which of the four stimulus checks are in every u.s state there you go. <laughs> check A is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. Check B is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. And check C is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. If you said that right, you've graduated from L8202. Now, let's go over those checks. Check A is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. Check B is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. Check C is a force stimulus check in every U.S. state. And there, of course, is check B. Now, that was LA 202, and congratulations to everyone who graduated from LA 202. Now let's go to LA 303, which started two days ago, but I graduated people yesterday. In LA 303, we go over what is the four stimulus check and how to get it. Now, what's important for you is that there was an assignment, a homework assignment. The homework assignment was to apply for one of those three checks, A, B, or C. In LA 303, to graduate, I gave you a homework assignment. Go apply for at least one of those checks, A, B, or C, within less than 24 hours. Just apply. I don't need you to get the money. I just need you to apply. You to apply, not someone else, not a volunteer, yourself and your fingers. And those viewers who did it did such a great job, and I believe it was you as well. Those viewers who did it so well in 24 hours, congratulations, they graduated. If you're new to this channel, let's go over how you can graduate right now. First, if you chose check A, jump in the live chat and write check A. If that was a check you applied for to complete your homework assignment for L8303. How do you get a check A application on file? Let's go over the details right now. It's so simple. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check. The income qualification is easy. $75,000 or less, a single individual. Married couple, $150,000 or less. Then, if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or Rural Benefits, Veterans Benefits, you can get it as well. It is called the Homeowner's Weatherizing Grant Check. How do you get it? To get that for stimulus check, you, one, become a member. 
then open that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go into the newsletter and go down to Check A. You will see Check A, and then you will see a link to go into a website. You click the link, you go into the national website. Then you choose your respective state, like Tennessee, and then you choose the Tennessee Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. So simple. If you are got an application in on Check A and you're in the live chat, write Check A now in the live chat. And you have graduated from L8303. Congratulations. Let's go to check B. Here is check B. There we go. Check B. Did you do check B? If you're in live chat, write check B. If you apply for check B as your homework assignment completion. It's a fifteen dollars to $80,000 force for symbols check. And the income qualification is the same as a third symbols check. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it. It's called the homeowner's grant check. And if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Veterans Benefits, you can get it as well. How do you get an application on file for check B? First, become a member. Second, open that membership newsletter. Third, go into the membership newsletter and look for check B. It's right below check A in the newsletter. It has a link, and the link will send you into the nationwide website, which looks like this. Then choose your state, like uh, Virginia. Click the link, and then it sends you into the state. And there you go. You apply, and you're done. How simple is that? Congratulations to people who applied it's for Check B. If you're in the live chat right now and applied for Check B, you have graduated. Check A and Check B are so simple. Your finger, you open the newsletter, you see Check B, for example, click the button, <laughs> click the link to go into the website, the national website, then choose the map, click again, and then type your name, type your address, push enter, you're done. <laughs> How simple is that? I mean, it's it's easier than, you know, firing Jen Psaki. No, she was not fired. Uh, there you go. <laughs> so there you go. Um, it is just so simple. So simple. Now, let's go to Check C. Check C is also really easy. How do you do Check C? Let's go over what Check C is and how you do it. Check C is the incredible money from third stimulus that's still paying out in four stimulus. And it's for rent. It is for utilities. It is for mortgage assistance and more. So if you're a renter, this is your favorite one. And how do you do this? Well, and how, let's go over how much it is. It's about $2,000 a month over 12 months by direct deposit. But many viewers are getting $45,000, $150,000. How do you get this? Again, this is so simple. First, open that membership, become a member. Second, open the membership newsletter. Third, go down to Check C. Here I make it so simple for you. There at Check C. I tell you the 16 plus places to call. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall, State House Authority. And the five or six nonprofits. You don't even have to write them down if you're a member. They're all written there. Then I actually tell you what to say when you pick up the phone and call them. What do you actually say to them? Then I tell you how to uh, call all of them, not one of them. I literally tell you everything. I tell you who to call. I tell you what to say. And I tell you how to do it. The only thing I don't do is dial the phone for you. <laughs> it's so simple. If you're in the live chat right now and you did check C, congratulations right, right now that you did check C and you're graduated. And there you go. In the last 24 hours, a lot of you have graduated from LA 303. I'm so proud of you. You must feel really proud of yourself as well. That you have learned that a force must check is in every U.S. state. You have learned what the checks are. A, B, C. And then you've gotten an application on file for one of them. You have now graduated from three classes in one week. Ready for the fourth class? You are. Let's do LA 404. Today we're doing LA 404 for the first time ever. And tonight on Easy LA, I'm going to check back in on you to see if any of you actually had done this. Because some of you had done, had gone to the next class before I, I was there. Uh, so let's do LA 404 today. Today, you're given a homework assignment. And guess what? I'm going to give you extra time on this one. I'm going to give you till next Monday, this coming Monday, over the weekend and all next, over, uh, gives you a few extra days. I want you to, by Monday's evening's LA, I want you to get your second application on file. So guess what? If you apply for check A, then go apply for another check, maybe B. If you try apply for B, maybe apply for A. If you applied for C, Let's say you applied for rent, 
then go get a utility bill. Even easier, if you applied for the gas utility bill, go apply for the water utility bill. Also easy, if you applied for the rent with your city housing authority, then apply for the rent with one of the nonprofits. You see how easy this is? I want you to get a second application on file by Monday evenings, evenings LA, because I'm going to check in with you on Mondays afternoons LA. I'm going to see if you got this done. I have complete faith with you across the board. That is the situation across the land. Let's recap and congratulations to everyone who has graduated from LA 101, LA 202, LA 303, and LA 404. Let's recap. One. Is there a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state? Yes, that is LA 101. A forced stimulus check is in every U.S. state. Number two, can you remember the three checks, their letters that are in every U.S. state? Write in the live chat if you remember the three letters. There you go. You just did it. Great job. Check A is in every U.S. state. Check B is in every U.S. state. Check C is in every U.S. state. Then, did you apply for check A? You did? Okay, so you did it really well. You applied for check A, you went to the membership newsletter, and you got the application on file. Did you apply for check B? Good. You learned about check B, you went to the membership newsletter, and you went to the website and applied. Did you apply for check C? You did. So you picked up the phone and called. You understood that for check C, it's not a website, it's a phone call, actually phone calls. And how do you know who to call, what to say? You go into the membership newsletter, you go down to check C. Now, here's an extra credit. Here's extra credit for you right now. If you're in the live chat, write the letter of the check that is a check that is not in every U.S. state right now. Can you remember the letter of the check that is a check that is not in every U.S. state right now? You got it. It's check D. Check D is a force of check that is law, but is not in, that is not in every U.S. state right yet. And then let's look at that check right now. It's about $2,000. It's a forcible check, and it's the newest forcible check. It became a law about, I think it's 14 days ago. How many states are currently running check D? Super extra credit. Can you remember? Yeah, it's about 24 states, and it's going to grow to about 40-plus states. So there you go. See how easy it is. It really, really is so easy. I'm so proud of you. It starts with getting that newsletter, pulling out that newsletter, and going through all the details across the board. Now, let's go over to that student loan debt forgiveness. Student loan debt forgiveness got very interesting this week. As the President of the United States said, he will not forgive $50,000 of student loan debts, but many insiders believe that he'll forgive about $10,000. $10,000 would be great because it would wipe away a lot of student loan debt. What's at issue here is that that student loan debt is part of really one of those subject matters the press always want to ask about. The president has instructed his education secretary, Miguel Cardona, to look at the situation and get back to him. And that education secretary is likely to report in the next few days. I'm not considering $50,000 in debt reduction, but I'm taking a hard cold, hard cold look at this. Um, this is where... Uh, people get it wrong. Joe Kernan every morning uh, consistently asks in a very conservative uh, tone of his voice, well, do you think Joe Biden should do student loan debt? Wouldn't that cause recessionary pressures more, inflationary pressures more? No, Joe. No, Joe. Student loan debt forgiveness does not cause inflation. Student loan debt forgiveness, what does that mean? It means that people would not have to pay monthly debt obligations to the federal government. If you're increasing the debt of the federal government because we're forgiving people's debts, that does not cause inflation. In fact, it reverses inflation. If people have more money in their wallet, then guess what? They can spend more money. And spending more money certainly prevents recessionary concerns because it's increasing growth of the economy. Business will have more money. Remember what happened was at the start of the first stimulus check, Walmart and a lot of the corporations posted enormous earnings because people had a lot of the money in their hand for that stimulus check. They went right into the, into the Walmarts and spent, spent, spent. So forgiving student loan debt forgiveness, which would wipe away about $321 billion of its $10,000 per borrower, does not create inflation. It also does not create recession. In fact, in some cases, it may reverse the course. There you go. Now, let's also turn to the sixth stimulus part of the equation. 
this is where it's getting interesting. You know, there's sometimes when people ask me, what is Joe doing on this? What's Joe doing on that? Sometimes I just really am sort of speechless. I mean, there have been many, many presidents who sort of are there. <laughs> it's president. And you're sort of like saying, you know, there's this thing you got to do. Why aren't you doing it? I mean, one of them right now, of course, is contacting the Social Security Administration ahead and swapping that call for inflation. That's a no-brainer. I mean, really, just pick up the phone, Joe. It's a 30-minute phone call. Just call right today. It, it's not something that is polarizing. It's not something that evokes negativity of economic elements. It doesn't politicalize, politicize anything. It's just a simple phone call. Do it. Now, the next thing that I don't understand is this Western Allies. It's six stimulus. Western Allies, as a team, have to get down the price of oil. They haven't. Have to get down the price of wheat. They haven't. And if they can't get these things down, then what happens? One of them goes to recession and brings us in the recession. The British pound sterling fell to its largest one-day drop since the start of the pandemic on Thursday, as the Bank of England indicated that there's going to be a slowdown of British commerce. BOE, that's British uh, Bank of England Governor, Andrew Bailey, says we're walking a very narrow path right now. The proximate reason for raising rates at this point is not only the current profile of inflation, but it's what expectations are coming on the horizon. Let's make this clear. I've made this recording before. If Italy, if France, if, you, if Great Britain go into recession, they'll pull us into recession. So you can't let them go into recession. And with that, uh, you can't let a cow pull you into the pasture. But today, a cow is coming on back, and he is back, and I'm so excited to see him here on set with me. If you never met him before, he is the cow lobbyist. He is the guy who got the cows the stimulus before Americans. Uh, it is not a joke. There were cows who got stimulus, second, uh, first stimulus before you did. He did it. His name is Sirloin, and he is back for the first time in a while since our two-year anniversary to comment about someone's departure. <laughs> Sirloin, how are you? Oh, good. Good to be back. I'm so excited to be back. And you're wearing blue. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing blue. So what do you think? Oh, she's going. Yeah, so Jen Psaki, the president's press secretary, is leaving. Today is her final day. Oh, so you're staying and she's going. <laughs> yes, I, I, I'm, I'm saying she's going. Oh, well, that works. Uh, where is she going? She has a range of other options. <laughs> really? Uh, did you air tag her? I did air tag. No, I did not air tag her. I did not want to keep track of where she's going. So you don't know where she's going? No, she's going to become a... um. A competitor to me. <laughs> a competitor to you. Yeah, she's going to apparently go on to Peacock Streaming Services and have a talk show uh, uh, streamed on live. Really? Do you think more people watch her or you? Oh, uh, and me. Well, I, I think so, too. So she is leaving the White House. Yeah, can you imagine? Oh, what am I going to talk about? <laughs> I'm sure there'll be another press secretary whose wardrobe you don't like either. I think there will be. <laughs> You know what they're doing right now? I, I, I wonder what they're doing right now. I know what they're doing right now. They are going in there and saying, get rid of all this darn blue and burn it quickly. <laughs> I think that's what they're doing. They're like, any teal? Teal? Burn it. That teal? Burn it. Burn all the teal. She brought in the teal lamps. She brought in the teal that match the teal drapes, that match the teal furniture. And if there's extra Joe Biden binders and breath mints, burn those too. <laughs> I think they're just, they're just changing the color wheel overnight. I think they are. I think they are. It's going to be sad to see her gone. The most evasive person I've ever in that office. <laughs> you thought she was evasive? Yes, and the other times I just thought that she was just doing aerobics exercise. Yes, yeah, she was. She's like, you in the back. No, you in the front. You in the back. No, you in the front. You in the back. What is she going to be doing on Peacock? Um, uh, she's going to be aerobic uh, instructor? <laughs> no, I think she's going to be talking about you. No, not me. Well, she's going to be talking about politics. Oh, really? Now that she's evaded everyone's answers for three years or two years, now she's going to be uh, running her mouth. <laughs> Isn't life funny? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It was two weeks ago she said that the president has student loan debt forgiveness on his table right now. Where's that table going? I think it's going to the talk show. <laughs> That's not funny. Well, no, it's it's really not funny, but I think, you know, uh, everything that she never answered is going to be forever unanswered. Wow. So what are you doing for Mother's Day, Sir Lloyd? Uh I'm celebrating Mother's Day. No, with who? Uh, with uh, my wife. 
You're married. We never knew this. You didn't ever never knew this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lloyd is married. And who are you celebrating Mother's Day with? We already asked this question. <laughs> are you already missing her, Jen Saki, that you have to ask the questions twice? <laughs> Sir Lloyd, who are you celebrating Mother's Day with? I'm celebrating Mother's Day with my wife. And what is her name? Her name is Filet. Filet? What a beautiful, are you laughing at my wife's name? I'm not laughing at your wife's name, Sir Lloyd. Your wife's name is Filet. Really, that's wonderful. Where did you meet her? France. Oh, of course, yes. Filet. So you're, you're celebrating your, your, your Mother's Day with um, Filet. Anyone else? Yes, my son. Of course. What's his name? Uh, Lointip. <laughs> Lointip. Yes. We're just meeting so many people today. You never knew they existed. I think this is why you need to stop hanging around with Jovita Light. <laughs> you have to get the scarf out of the ears. So, Filet is going to be joining you. And then, uh, Lointip. Uh, anyone else? Yes, my daughter. Brisket. Brisket, of course. <laughs> Brisket of beef. Lointip and, uh, and, and Filet. Filet of, of filet. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's going to be a wonderful Mother's Day. It will. Where are you going? Uh, I don't know. We have a range of options. <laughs> are you going to circle around one time? Yes, I will circle around one more time. <laughs> and when you walk into the restaurant, you choose your seat. Which seat are you going to choose? You in the back, you in the front. You in the back, you in the front. Yes, that's what you're going to do. I can just, I can just visualize you. To say that, and then when the when the when the waiter comes and says, um, uh, you say, "What's a super day?" We have a range of other options. <laughs> so are you gonna uh, are you gonna air tan, air tag Jen Saki before she leaves? No, I do not want to keep track of her. Nemo, I do. <laughs> Still trying to find you, Nemo. Uh, she's trying to find you, Nemo. But no, her I, I do not care to keep track of. But where will she be? She's going to be on. Um, uh, she has, she's got in a talk show gig. Really? So people want to hear her talk more. Who? <laughs> people who don't have, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> people want to hear her talk more. Yeah, she's going to have a talk show. Oh, who's she going to compete against you? Yeah, she's going to compete against me. Bring it on, Jen, bring it on. <laughs> I'm just ready. So in, in a way, yes, yeah, so are you about to say that? Yeah, in a way, so you will have more material. <laughs> As she talks more, you'll be have something else to say. Yes, that is sort of interesting. <laughs> and what about my show? Uh, I, 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 we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I wish you a, uh, having a wonderful Mother's Day. So long. Thank you. Your wife, Ale. Yes, thank you. Your son, Lointek. Yes, thank you. And your daughter, Brisket. Uh, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, delicious lunch. And uh, lots of milk. Of course. Uh <laughs> And uh, join me next week because, boy, it's going to be next week. Is that when the recession starts? <laughs> no, I, I think it's already started. Yeah, well, you know, uh, what will happen when the recession happens with cows? Um, grass will still be free. <laughs> oh, good. You know, um, that that is good. Uh, and uh, things will be produced less. Oh, okay. So I will be ready for that. And uh, And with that... I wish all of the viewers a beautiful Mother's Day. And Javita Late, if you're out there, you mother of a scarf lover, I even wish you a good Mother's Day as well. That's so kind of you, Sir Lion. I, I, I love how you said there was such conviction. Well, you know, I try. It is, you know, uh, it is, you know, it, it is a TV show. <laughs> and with that, have a beautiful Mother's Day to all of you. I'll join you next on Evening's Ally at 9 to 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. A big show. As we look and see what happened with those corporate earnings today and what happened with the Dow again. Major developing details on that front. Plus, I have new indications of many more checks potentially on the horizon. Whoa, it's getting exciting. First, if you haven't become a member, go to the top of the chat and become a member. Go under the chat as well and hit that link. Get that newsletter today. Then get your assignment done. Get that second application on file for check A, check B, or check C. And I'll check back in with you on Monday to graduate more of you. We'll have more economic data later on Evenings LA. Stay informed, stay focused. It's going to be a big show tonight in prime time. Stay here. I don't want you to miss any of the incredible money at issue. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, to the shores of your home, have a beautiful Mother's Day, and I'll see you tonight on Evenings. <laughs>